Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah Bay and today we're going to be doing a full face of Supergoop products. If you saw my last video, you saw that Supergoop was the winner out of three different sunscreen brands. However, that was just body sunscreen and I do not put body sunscreen on my face. My face is way too sensitive. So we're gonna be trying out their different sunscreen variations. And they have a lot to pick from. We're not gonna to do too crazy of a rating scale today. It's just gonna be yes or no. To be transparent, all of these products are expensive, but they all had free shipping and we love free shipping. First is the 40 SPF Unseen Sunscreen. And I'm going to apply this first. I like that. Hey kittens. I use the Obagi right now and it's just so white and grainy. It smells better than me, my other sunscreen. I was a little concerned at first because it felt super oily at first, but now you really can't. It's not looking too oily. It really sat well on my skin. It's a yes. I do use sunscreen on my face every single day, so I think it's worth it to not have that gritty white sunscreen. I'd wear that again, yes. Next, we have the Bright Eye Eye Cream. It's 100% minerals. Don't know what that means, but good for them. Okay, this has a little bit of a tint to it, so hopefully it's not too crazy for me. I don't like to really put much tint on my skin. I just don't think it looks like it belongs there. I think my skin looks better without tints, personally. I never, okay, it's very tinty. Okay. I like that. It's kind of cooling. I've never used a product like this, to be honest. Like sunscreen for the under eyes, genius. Pretty pennies being spent on the eyes, but eyes are important. Next, we're going to be using the CC cream. I don't really use any foundation or CC creams or anything. So we'll see how I like this. Maybe this will be a new thing for me. Am I my mob wife era? I don't know. This you do have to pick a tin for and I chose 105 neutral, which is the lightest shade, but in neutral cause I'm really not sure if I'm cool or neutral. If you know, please let me know. Cause that'd be good to know. That makes me nervous. That is so dark for me. I will say I didn't think that this shade range was very great. Am I putting this on wrong? It's giving I eat chalk. I think it evened out my skin tone and I think I picked the right color for me. I think this is a good CC cream. I just don't know that I like wearing CC creams. Uh, oh, and some already came out. My friend said she uses this in her part because parts can get really burnt, so we're going to try doing that. I feel like I'm doing way too much. This technically isn't for my face, but the last thing is the glow oil. I kind of want the effect of like a shiny body oil, but with the protection of the of the 50 SPF. There's the nozzle. I like that. I would more use this for like a statement body makeup almost, not necessarily just regular sunscreen, but there's no scent. Um, or anything like that. It's just straight oil. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the extensive Supergoop sunscreen line. The Unseen sunscreen and the Bright Eyed Mineral sunscreen will definitely be staples for me moving forward. Shout out to my friends who recommended that to me. I would say definitely 
kick out your suntan oil for sunscreen oil. Trust me, from someone who has to get moles cut out of them and tested for skin cancer, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Use sunscreen. Protect your skin. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other functional makeup brands that you recommend, please comment them below. I will link all these products in the description below, so if you're interested, please give them a click. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.